So do you remember I told you last week that my favorite April update was the dynamic formatting? This is why. You can convert your visualization from this to this using the new formatting. It's just so good. It's so good. So let me show you how it's done. It's actually very easy too. Okay, listen to man. Before the dynamic formatting, this is the way it works. So you had a column and you had to decide one way to format it. It was either millions, like shown here, or billions, like shown here. Both of them have problems. As you can see, zeros start to appear. And this is how it works now. Let me show you. So now with the dynamic formatting, you can actually set the the, the string format as you like, so or the number format as you like. This is in billions, millions. And the difference is astonishing. Look at this. So here is billions and zeros, and here is the actual numbers that you can see. So how do you do it? Here's the thing. The dynamic string formatting, you do it on measures. So you need to have a measure. You just create a normal measure, total sales, right? Once you have that, you go to format and you set it to dynamic. And when you do that, a new um, dropdown will show here. On format, you put these little measures. So you say, for the sales measure, or for the total sales, if sales are blah, 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 this is for thousands, for millions, for billions. Depending on your regional formattings, the thing that I have here will work for you or not. So you don't, yeah, you have to figure out how you format depending on how your normal formatting is. But this is how you do it. And then quality of life, people, look at this. Even the totals get formatted. It's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So from now on, make sure that you do this. Absolutely fantastic. I will see you again with another video very, very soon.